Angelique Lazardi, Sports Director Paul Sicola, and Chief Meteorologist Matt Bro. This is News for Tucson, live at 10. And welcome back. Well, some students are making a big difference in a tiny way for some teachers in the Vail School District. News for Tucson's Eric Fink tells us how this special project is getting off the ground. It's small, but Sydney Shar says it's cozy. She and her husband Simon moved into this 400 square foot tiny home with their two dogs a year and a half ago. Sydney's an elementary school teacher here. You know, I never really had a bigger space. I went from living in the college dorms to living in a small apartment because that's what I could afford as a first year teacher. So to have the opportunity to upgrade into a tiny house, you know, I got rid of neighbors, I got rid of, you know, constant hustle and bustle, and I got to live out in Vail, which is most important to me. I like to be a part of the Vail community. Meet the contractors of this latest design, students at Sienega High School, who celebrated their first open house with a ribbon cutting Thursday. One of the most fun and amazing parts about this was definitely the learning process along the way. I found an invaluable set of skills doing this, made a lot of friends, and definitely one of the most fun things about it was actually, for me personally, was running the electrical. It was something new in which I had never done before. Building these tiny homes with a big goal in mind, to give back to the district's teachers, as Vale struggles with the lack of affordable housing. Teachers can rent this home for about $600 a month. We're 425 square miles as a school district, um, and we have no apartments within the school district boundaries. The, there uh, is a, the first set of apartments are, are under construction. It is students who are building uh, houses for teachers who are investing in them. Could you live in one of these? It's 400 square feet. Easily. I, I practically live in my bedroom. I, <laughs> Now, the students spent all of last semester getting this house ready. They built the countertops, they built the shelves, and they will spend this semester getting ready to build a second house, soon to be this one's neighbor, ready to go in the spring. In Vail, I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.